Well guys, just giving you a look at what we're still dealing with here. Uh, can't really see, I guess. Got another foot of snow so far. Um, nothing's going down. There's my garage. That's how high the snow bank is. It's pretty bad. Anyways, I'm going to go downstairs here. I uh, got some prizes and show you what we got going on for the contest. Peace. Hey guys, Gonzo. Back with contest update. Um, I'll do one more update after this to show you a couple more prizes I'm waiting on. And then uh, we're going to do the draw. Um, this is uh, appreciation. I, I'm not trying to get 100 subs. I'm not trying to get 500 subs. I'm not putting a deadline on it. Once my last two nights come in, I, I'm, make, I'm, I'm doing a draw. I'm going to go on there. I'm going to try and figure out it doesn't look that hard. I see a lot of people uh, use random.org. So uh, for the ones that got the extra chance, like I said, you'll get two numbers. And I'm going to let everybody see their numbers. I'm going to, uh, I'll show you a sheet of paper with everybody's name, your number on there. And if you've got two numbers, you'll see both sets of numbers. And uh, we'll sit down. We're going to draw. We're going to um, do it for four, four, uh, four prizes. So uh, let's get on with this. And then I'll give you a good shot of the stuff uh, after we're done. Um, but first of all, uh, for everybody that didn't watch the last video, in order to get the extra chance drawn, you're going to have to go back and watch the last video. And uh, I showed something in there. You're going to have to guess what it is. I mean, I give you a good look of it and stuff. I've got a bunch of great guesses. I got some crazy guesses too, which I figured I'd get. But uh, so far, and the contest really wasn't even open, but so many people were saying, enter me, da da da. You know, I just, I, I just started writing it down. So as of right now, I've got 50 people entered. Um, a lot of you guys that guessed the, the mystery prize, you did it right. Because if you guessed the mystery prize, I just wanted you to PM me. But you didn't put enter me. And so for the mystery prize guess, you've got that one. In order to get both guesses, you need to put enter me. That's how easy it is, guys. I mean, I'm not making you do a VR. I'm not making you run around the block or anything. All I want you to do is put enter me, appreciation. Uh, that's we're gonna do this get it done as soon as possible you know I, I appreciate everything that everybody's done for me and like I said I believe in paying it forward so uh, I've got 50 50 entries so far and I've got one two three four 31 people have got the bonus question right and one two three four five six seven eight nine people so far have got the bonus question wrong and I'll tell you this much um, it wasn't a beer bomb that's the most, uh, I've had catheter, a bunch of beer bongs, uh, somebody said uh, something to purify water, um, another guy said uh, pepper squeezer, I mean so, uh, contest is fun, it, it's going, it's going good right now, so I want to try and keep this as short as possible, so I'm going to show you what prizes. Um, one thing I don't have here, I'm going to let anybody choose if that's what they want, one of the four top prizes. I'll give you a, if you want a year subscription, to, if you're a trapper and you want the Trapper and Predator magazine, or uh, uh, yeah, Trapper and Predator magazine, or if you want Fur Fishing Game, if you're a fisherman, if you want uh, Outdoor Life, if you want Field and Stream, I'll get that for you. I'll get you in Fisherman. Um, as long as it's a reasonable price or something and just a magazine, ask me. One of the top four prizes, I'll give that to you. But uh, whoever the first uh, number that goes out is automatically going to get this uh, this pocket knife. It's an Ozark Trail. I don't know how good you guys can see that. I'm going to give you a better look, anyways. That's going to go with uh, first prize. Like I said, if you if you want a magazine or something, I'll get you your subscription and I'll send you this. If not, I've got some other knives. I've got this uh, Tack Force. Just got this one in today. Um, it's camouflage. Well, it's like that desert camel. Super, super sharp. What a great knife. This would be a great EDC. You know, everyday carry right there. Ah. Yeah, and I got a Smith & Wesson. I like this one. I really like this knife a lot. Here we go. You can either carry it on your side or put it on. There you go. You got it. 
two-sided blade too. Super, super sharp. What a great knife. Like I said, there's your case. Just goes right in. That quick. This brand, like I said, this is a Smiths and Wesson right here. Then I got a Coleman. I got a folding saw. You know, if somebody uh, like you're into bushcraft and stuff, I know all the knives are good for bushcraft. Uh, the folding saws, excellent for bushcraft and stuff. And uh, like I said, we got that Ozark Trail. That's going to go in the first prize automatically. Got a couple knives in here the other day that I got in. Some cool ones here. I, all, all the stuff that I got is really great. E even the two knives that I'm waiting on. Here's one. This is a Skinner. It's got super freaking sharp too. What a great knife. I want to keep this one for myself, but uh, maybe I will. If people don't, I'm, I'm going to end up with a couple. These are still going to be mine at the end that people don't want. Here's the sheath. There's the knife. Look at that. I mean, look at the markings on that. What a beautiful knife. I mean, I don't think you're going to skin a muskrat with this. It's super sharp. But, I mean, this is something that you're going to want for your elk, your bear, your deer. This would do a great job. And last but not least, got another one, another she. This is another skinning knife. This has got uh, this has got a gut hook on it right there. Pop your hole in and just slice right up your gut, your finger for the hole there. Skinner, some nice uh, colors on that too. I mean, great, great looking. I don't know how good you guys can see this shit, but uh, anyways, I'm gonna give you guys a good look at it, look of it, and uh, like I said, uh. If you want a chance at the extra guess, go back to the last video, watch that one, tell me uh, what I was showing you guys in there. If not, if you just want one, one guess, I guess one is better than nothing, just put enter me. And you must like and you must be a subscriber to the video. I'm not going to go back and look and make sure that everybody uh, did like, but I will make sure that you're a subscriber because I've got everybody's, I've got 320 subscribers right now and I've got everybody's name wrote down. I can tell you when you subscribe to me. Well, pretty close to anyways, but I've got everybody's name wrote down. If you haven't subbed me and subscribed again, I've got a few doubles, duplicates and stuff. But, uh, so that's it. Uh, we're going to, like I said, I'm not going to sit around and beat, beat around the bush. Uh, I want to give you guys a good shot of all this stuff. Close up. There's that. Some beautiful colors on that knife. There's a Skinner. They're both Skinners, but that one's got the gut hook on it and stuff. That Ozark Trail Pocket Knife, that's going to first place automatically. That would be a beautiful EDC for everyday carry. That. There's our Smiths and Wesson you can wear right around your neck. Take it right off. Then we got the Coleman folding saw. And uh, that's it for right now. Like I said, I've got two more knives coming in, and if they're in in a week, six days, or if they're in in nine days, once uh, one, once I'm um, once I get the last two knives in, uh, I'll give you guys one more update uh, next week. Hopefully, uh, maybe I'll have the knives by next Friday, and we'll do the draw. We'll get this darn thing over with, so then I don't have to worry about it no more. The weather's been really horrible. We got another foot of snow today and stuff. Well, from last night to today, and it's supposed to go till 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. So, as you can see, uh, I ain't been on making any trapping, hunting, fishing videos whatsoever. But I, I've been watching the last two days. I've got a curl over in one of my red pines. i got a whole line of red pines in my yard. Bringing great big branches over and stuff, and I'm watching them build a nest that's cooler than hell. So I'm going to wait a few weeks, and once it really warms up, I'm going to go up there with the GoPro. You know, when they're on the nest, they should have it done and laid some eggs by then. And I'll try and get some uh, pictures, you know, I'll go up and look into the nest 
and I'm sure that they're going to be going crazy and stuff. And uh, once they hatch, I'm thinking, you know, I, I know somebody that had a crow before, and the thing was like their pet. It would sit right on their shoulder wherever they went and stuff. But I don't know if the neighbors around here would like that and stuff if I got crows hanging around. Well, they're here all the time anyways, but... So I'll figure out something for that, but I'll give you guys a shot of the crow's nest out in my yard and stuff. So until, uh, until next time, uh, peace. I, uh, one more thing to say, uh, the KB Trapper's back, Kevin. Uh, every, all, all of our buddies, I mean, he's always commented on everybody's videos and stuff. And so, uh, he's, um, he's got some uh, issues going on right now, but he said he's feeling a lot better and he's, he's back and stuff. So watch uh, if you already haven't seen him comment on some of your videos and stuff uh, uh, you will I, I, I'm glad to see you back Kevin and stuff and uh, this one uh, you're gonna have to sit this one out Chucky alright peace Kevin